What's up, Saints and Eights? Welcome to this week's episode of Music and Makeup. I'm your host, Nola Darling, and today I'm going to be reviewing Mac Homie's latest album, Rich Ass Haitian, while I do my makeup. So let's get into it. All right, so of course, as you all know, Mac Homie dropped another album called Rich Ass Haitians. Now, I believe this album was already released because I saw pictures from the release party that was last year. My first impression is I have been excited for a new Makami project. He's another one on my list of like rappers that I'm like, are, are artists that are old faithfuls. Whatever it is that they put out, I know it's gonna be a quality product and it's gonna be thought behind it. I've listened to it every day since it's come out. And there, every time I listen to it, I find something new. So I'm gonna take you through some of my favorites on this album. So today for my eyelids, today for my lids, I'm using the House Labs uh, High Power Pigment Paint in this blue. Uh, sapphire, I think, is the name, the color, but this is it right here. So far, so good. I think I'm gonna have to do a couple, a couple passes with it to get the color that I'm looking for. And so this album has 17 tracks on it. But one thing about it, this album has a lot of range. So at no point when I was listening did I feel bored. I felt engaged in every turn, and I was curious what style or what's gonna come next. What am I gonna learn next? And the range on this album, when I talk about that, there are so many different types or styles of music there's a reggae track lon lon uh, this track with kate Trinata. so we're gonna get jump into all of that but at no point was i ever bored that's what's missing i think now people have long albums but they're not thought out his album and rhapsodies they're long but they're thought out you don't get bored listening to them because there's a little something you don't get comfortable in the sound this album features production by Conductor Williams, Sadu Gold, Kel Chris, Katrinata, Messiah Music, uh, Aust Fannin, and Fortes. Now we're gonna go through some of my favorite tracks on this album. We just finished listening to was Untitled, which was the intro to the album. And it goes right into Antonio Masia. I think I'm saying it right. And that features Rock Marciano. I love how this comes in. I love that sample, the drums in the back, that little, I don't know what that little ding, ding, ding noise is, but all of that. And then the drums on this. I love listening to this in the car. The good speakers, I always say it makes the world a difference. Rock Marcy went into outer space on this feature. And I love how the two of them bounced off of each other. This was a perfect, uh, perfect feature, perfect collaboration. So this next song is Empty Spaces with Your Old Droog. And so, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I did not know that your old Drew was Ukrainian at all. And it serves me right because I was in wonder on how Big Hit didn't know that Alchemist was white. And, uh, and I have your old Drew on my playlist, but it completely missed me. I know everybody that knows me is tired of me talking about this because I was genuinely shocked. He also went into outer space with this verse. This next song is, I'll probably say, my favorite song on the entire album. I listen to this like, first thing in the morning. And the title of this song is Sur les Pontes d'Avion. I have been waiting to use my five years of high school French to say that. I recognize the chorus of this song right off the bat because my French teacher was, at, was from France, Madame Arlec, and she was always teaching us like, all these little songs in French. We learned this one, Petit Papa Noel, and some other song called Champs Elysees. So I immediately recognized this song, and um, it's about like, people dancing on a bridge. But you look it up. Uh, I'm almost curious to know what frequency is this beat in because it feels so good. And he even has Sam Gentle on the e -sax playing on this too. And I love how throughout this album, he brought in a lot of uh, other musicians. Norman Connors, who y'all know I love from like, his work with Phyllis Hyman. He brought in the Calico Wall. Again, Sam Gendel on the e -sax. I love music where you can discover some more new music as a result of it. And this is one of those types of projects. I love this, how it's not perfect. It's got a little melancholy, a little down to it. But then at the same time, it's got like distortion that Conductor is like really known for. He really makes that work for him. But um, I love that it beat, it feels like a hug. I gotta know the frequency of it. It just feels like a good hug, a good bad mood eliminator. I'm rocking with it. So this next song, it's not really a song, this is the interlude rather. And I like this too, it's rather insightful. The beat behind it is by Conductor Williams. It's a conversation between Mock and Haitian Jack. 
and Mock is talking about the direction that Haiti can go in. Mock talks about ways that Haiti can change, and you Haitian Jack offers the insight is that you have to start at the root. And so he's always looking towards solutions to any better and getting it back on the right track. I like that point he makes that people are being persuaded into cannibalism. And sometimes the tactic to destroy a people is to get them just to self implode. Just let them, you know, one another or just let, let the whole thing implode. Let them just take each other out. And then that way, hands are clean. I like his conversation. Capitalistic aims and aberrations. What would we do if we weren't just thinking about a way to exploit and make money off of everything? What would we do if we were not trying to make a buck off of everything? If we actually cared about people and cared about like development and all that other stuff instead of constantly trying to everything for a buck, fuck the people. Who can I exploit? That's what it's like now. So this next song, or another one of my favorites, is Copy Cold with Kel Chris and Black Thought. Black Thought is going to always give you um, a premium, premium verse, and we're going to learn a little something and all of that. But yeah, I like this track. Uh, this is a track got a jazzy feel. That's why I said this album has so many different genres and feels to it, but yeah, this beat has like a real jazz type I thought he'll never really have a bad verse when he do a feature. You know he got to give you his all. That's somebody I want to go last. Not just because he going to rip you, but he going to say some like really super educated stuff. And how do you follow up with that? So this is Rich Ass Haitian. I like this song. This is the one that's produced by Kay Trinata. It's This is something you can play like this is a good outside day party. This is a groove. I mean, this next song is Lon Lon. I think it's probably short for Babylon, featuring Archie White. I like this song. This got a nice uh, reggae vibe to it. I like that flute in the back. I like his verse. Again, I said he's always proud of being Haitian. He said, I'm going to ride with my Madonna having culture. And basically, like, no, no, not these other rappers. I'm a composer. I'm an artist. I'm putting stuff together. And two, it speaks to his independence. Because I guess he said he had to put it like that. But you don't have to do these same uh, antics. I was reading about Mac Hami, And I know people because he keeps his face covered. And I personally, I love that for him. Because he can still have a life and still do his art. Because y'all don't let people have no private life. So he can still have his private life. He's not a recluse. He's out and about. I remember somebody uh, saying that. That's not true. Uh, but yeah, just keeping a part of himself for himself. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't blame him, cause this world, it'll take everything to ain't nothing left. So save something for yourself, baby. So the last song on my list, uh, this is Same 24. Y'all know I like a song with a message. And this beat, of course, is just absolutely beautiful. I need to get the frequency on this one because it feels good. That uh, vocal sample in the back. This is the one that I believe the drums are being played by Norman Connors. If you don't know who he is, go look him up. But he is one of the forefathers of the Philadelphia sound. So go look them up. I think that's ill that Mock has him on this album uh, playing the drums. And the feature is uh, Big Chico. To remind you that we all got the same 24 hours and do not waste time. Now, I do acknowledge that some of us have more resources and stuff and the other to get around and do what we need to do. But for the most part, make the most of your 24 hours is really the message of this track. So that wraps up my review of Rich Ass Haitian. I really enjoyed this album. If you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, go do that. It's on Apple and Tidal. I don't know what happened with Spotify. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the Music and Makeup podcast. I'm here every week reviewing albums, sharing some of my favorite music, all while I do my makeup. That's it for me, Saints and Eights. Love you. Bye.